Okay, we are uh, finishing up the very brief homestand today. So Logan Gilbert out there, um, rubber match of the series. Been on a good roll, winning the last game of the series. Usually helps you win the series, and that's where we're at today. So uh, nothing else to add, really. I'll take your questions. Scott, you've had weird schedules before. This is kind of a really odd. Come home for three and go back and over and forth. No, I feel like we stop and see third city, uh, third city on our trip. But no, it's 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 the schedule. It happens. We knew they're going to be a little bit quirky. You know, playing everybody now. So um, you know, again, weather's great. You know, win the game today, win the series, and move we'll on to Anaheim. But it's been a little funky. Of course, we played 13 in a row out of the break, day off, and we played like 10 in a row. So. Um, Seeing some guys get some days off, mix in everybody. That's what you got to do at this time of year. We'll continue to do it throughout August and September. Is there a different feel of maybe just it being normal today after everything the last couple of weeks? I mean, it's a day game. It's that weird thing. Yeah. But it just, it's normal. No, I think there's. Yeah, it is. There's some relief, obviously, in our club. That's not the feeling I felt yesterday more than anything. I don't think our team, uh, our team knows that we've played much better uh, you know, over the last month or so. Uh, they still stay in the race. We still got work to do. We have a lot of work to do. We're playing against good teams. Obviously, we got a good one over there in the other dugout today. We've got to figure out how to beat. But I think that the, the sense of relief, uh, guys you know, know that they're going to have to move their families. And our guys still believe in our team. I think that's the biggest thing. And uh, we know what we're capable of doing. We just haven't done it on a consistent basis. You know, hopefully they continue to pick up. I think the additions we had in getting those young players comfortable as quick as possible is a goal of mine because when they're comfortable, they play better. And hopefully we can get them comfy here soon. Scott, among the guys who didn't get traded, Barkley being here for the rest of the year, I mean, just how glad were you that he was going to be Well, Murph's had a really good season, first of all. Um, but we you know, have a long relationship with Murph. We spent a lot of time with him when we first acquired him. Uh, the injury he's gone through, kind of the, you know, the big year he had, I think it was 2019, um, to kind of get himself on the map and get him established in the league. So, you know, when you have a relationship with players, you go through the ups and downs with them, and you, know, you don't want to lose them. Understand it's a business, and, and, but, you know, glad that he's here. I think him and Cal have uh, really helped out offensively. You know, with what Murph has done, and Cal had obviously a good year last year, but. They're critical parts of our lineup, and you're seeing those guys play on the same day off and now as one of them taking the DHs, and you'll continue to see that here going forward. I thought Jerry said that they're looking to try and keep Murph around for a few more years. He's going to be a free agent, part of the reason of keeping him with the trade deal is to move him forward and keep him with you guys because he's a part of your culture. How important would that be to keep him around? I think it's very important. I, I think all the things that we have implemented here over the last four or five years, certainly on our pitching side, um, Murph has been a believer, and not just a believer and he's bought in, but he's a driver uh, of that as well with our pitchers and the ability to, to stay with the process and using your best pitches more often. And um, He's really good, and he's not afraid to express his opinion. And I think, you know, Guys, they, they, their personalities, are they mature? Whatever you want to call it changes over time. Murph now is one of our veteran guys. And he does have a voice in our clubhouse and certainly a very large voice with our pitching staff. So uh, having him around our guys going forward, I think is critical for us. Uh, and as long as he keeps producing offensively, he's going to get a chance to play. We were talking with Bryce last night. He mentioned that fastballs under 94 miles an hour get hit pretty hard from him. And he just said it wasn't that he was taking pitches off. But he just kind of realized that it has to be full conviction at all times. How, how important is something like he recognizes it to sit there and talk about it and understand he has to do more. Yeah, both, both Bryce and Brian, uh, even though they're very inexperienced, I think their maturity level and understanding who they are as a pitcher is pretty advanced and um, you know Bryce has innings I would say not just moments but there's innings where you know I thought last night he was kind of rolling pretty good second third inning you can start to see the, the, the consistency of a secondary pitches and then all of a sudden the fourth thing it starts to get away from him a little bit the bottom velocity may drip so I think at times with Bryce it's 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 a timing or mechanical driven where all of a sudden you see a 90 mile hour fastball it's like oh is he hurt you know his timing was off the ball didn't come out right to the next pitch you look up but it's 94 again. But the consistency of that over time, and you know, it's 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 taken him a little bit. 
it's going to take him a little while to get there and understanding that. But I think he knows it. He's aware of it. Now you got to stay, you know, make the adjustments quicker and understand where he's at. Last night, it really struggled with the secondary pitches as the game went on. And he wasn't able to get those back in play. And when that happens, it's hard to go through any lineup. Certainly as, as talented as those that Boston runs up. Scott, what was the scouting reports on Fred Gordon? What did you see from him last night as he came out? Yeah, he's an interesting personality. <laughs> and they're all different. Uh, he's been around a little bit. He's been a, I see. think he started his career with Houston, been with Toronto for a long time, and every organization does it a little bit differently. I think scouting report wise, it's kind of what you saw last night. He's got multiple pitches. Uh, I think maybe one of his most effective pitches is kind of his sweeping slider. Uh, we're going to try to get him to throw that a little bit more because it doesn't get hit. Uh, but the whole key to throwing is because you got some strikes. I think he's already he's been here 24 hours. He quickly understands what we're about. You know, go get strike one. And when he does that, he'll get really good results. Uh, this stuff's not going to overpower you, but it's a different look out of our bullpen. Somebody we haven't, you know, we haven't had. Like, it's more Penn Murphy-ish. He does not sidearm, but you saw Penn throw a lot of breaks balls. And, and, you know, we have a lot of guys that throw really hard down there. Um, he may just be able to get it done in a different way. So you'll, you'll see a sword when a break and balls from him, which I like. He also pointed out that Seattle's reputation made him really excited to be here. He was excited to have that conversation. Yeah, I mean, he... he I mean, he's, these guys are not they do their homework. Okay, who's gone through Seattle? Who did they just trade? Oh, he really wasn't a dude. Then he came here, and now look where he's a dude. You know, so we've had success with that, and, and that's a credit to our pitching program, our pitching coaches. Um, we're not afraid to try things, and maybe it's not all that different than what they've tried in the past. Maybe we just term it a little bit different, just throw a little different language to it. And one thing we do really, really good job of, we stay consistent with it. It's not like we switch. Let's try this for three days. Let's try that other thing for four days. It sometimes happens. 